Welcome to another exciting unboxing. I'm Civvy, and today we have the Zen X802. I know I didn't notice that it wasn't on the frame to start with, so yeah, my bad, bro. Anyway, this is an eight input two bus mixer, which now is not on the frame. It has a premium eight input two bus analog mixer, which is what I just said. State of the art. Xenix preamps, which is what we're here for today. Kind of. Let's see what else they have to say about themselves. Let's see. Can we get this? I don't know if that's in focus, but I can't read it either. Let's see. Low, noi low noise. High headroom. I read that as here room. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. It's got um, things, British EQs, which is normal for a Behringer. Uh, uh, post fader FX, which that's not what you should use it for nowadays. Uh, stereo return for FX. Uh, main mix outputs plus uh, headphones, tape mixer stuff. That's got all the basics of your mixer. So let's get into the box here. It's nothing else. You, you didn't come here for the box. You came here to get in the box. Oh yeah. Whoa, what do we have to start with? I just hit the microphone. That probably sounds great. We have, right in the top of the box, oh, wow. It's the power supply. Wow. Which is just your basic power brick and extension cord, which basically all Behringer mixers use that. And then there's some packing material. Yay. And then there's... A book! Ooh, a sticker! Behringer sticker. Ooh, it's upside down. There you go. Behringer sticker. And this is how... Uh, plastic bags can be dangerous. Avoid danger of suffocation. Keep bag away from babies and children. Tempting. Uh, this is the instruction book for the 1202, 1002, 802, and 502. So it is basically... Plug it in. Question mark. Audio happens. More packing material. And we finally get to the mixer itself. And some more packing material. But the mixer is why we're here. We've got some silica gel, just in case you were hungry. And it comes in a plastic bag. Let's get the bag open. Oh, they taped the bag shut. Come on, guys. Please. Why? Why you gotta tape the bag shut? I can't get into this bag without destroying it. Which is probably their whole plan. Was to get you to uh, make sure it's not tampered with. I'm tampering with it now! <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's get this out of here. This would be a good time to like cut that. But, man, come on. Here we go. We have one Uno mixer. We've got one channel, two channel, two mono channels. Three and four is a stereo channel, uh, but basically they're just two mono channels connected to each other, which is a stereo channel. Five and six, also same business. Now you might be asking, where's seven and eight? Seven and eight, very likely, on this mixer, is five, six, three, four, probably the stereo return or the uh, two track input I'm actually not sure the uh, ones that I have do not have a control room feature control room feature is pretty cool that means now let's point that towards the camera this means that you can have basically you can be you can have someone mixing everything and the people on the outside don't have to hear it all, which is nice if you have, you know, stuff. Skype chats would be a good one for that. And it's a two track. So it must be this, yes. This must be seven and eight on this mixer here. I'd give you a more in-depth thing about that, but I just opened the box. What do I know? Which basically describes my whole channel. 
You got phantom power button. Turn that on if you need phantom power. If you have a good microphone, you need phantom power. Uh, we've got power in the top. We've got our EQs, which you can cut out low, low noises with or high noises with. Or if you're a fucking jerk, you can be like, oh, how about I just max out my turn, turn my lows and my mediums all the way down and then my highs to max. Now I'm a radio DJ. Fucking YouTube people. Anyway, you have an FX if you use FX. I actually use FX for Skype uh, audio, which is a cool way to do it. We got pan if you have uh, more powerful speakers on one side or if you just have an input that is crappy. And then you have your twisty volume controls. And that's about it. You got aux return, uh, to control room, to mix. Turn that all on. Turn it all off. I'm Civvy. I hope you had a good time. Here's the game. If you can't read. Game. Anyway. Have a good time. If you pick up one of these, please enjoy it. I personally like the 1002. But if this is all you need, that's all you need. I'll see you guys next time.